Hey, what's up everybody? This is Polio Jr. And in today's video, um, I'm going to be doing a very quick review on a free Android emulator called Nox Player. And you can download it at bignox.com, B-I-G-N-O-X.com. Uh, the file size is about 200 and some megabytes. And the installation might take a couple minutes at that. And then I, I'll also put the link in the description for the website. Uh, this is where you download it. And then I would also check out the, um, the frequently asked questions as well. Um, since it is, um, there are a couple things you need to do as far as keyboard mapping and all that. Um, but you can get the gist of it with just using uh, your keyboard and your mouse. So download and install um, the program, Knox Player. And this should work for pretty much any version of Windows. And they also have a Mac version as well. So I'm just going to close this out and go right into Knox. So this is it right here. Let's see if I can do full screen here. Uh, so what's really cool is that you can actually set this up as, let's see here, uh, either an Android tablet or an Android phone. So we have Knox opened. And at the uh, top right hand corner here, there's system settings uh, for the actual program itself. Uh, all, the all the defaults are actually pretty good. You don't need to really mess with them. Um, you can play with the performance settings. If you have a pretty good graphics card, uh, processor, and memory, you can set the performance to high. I'm just putting it as low because I'm using a uh, screen recorder. Uh, I have the startup settings as a tablet instead of a mobile phone. Um, I haven't really played around with the custom. Uh, leave the graphics rendering mode alone uh, and the frame settings default at 60 and that's perfectly fine. Uh, property settings, uh, you can leave it as a default model which comes up as this uh, the Samsung but they do have uh, other models as well. So, But I'm just going to leave it at this one. Uh, IMEI, you can create and actually add a phone number to this as well and use your, um, you know, you can use your microphone uh, and your, use your microphone and your speakers as your phone. Uh, interface, uh, which is all, all the defaults are perfectly fine. Shortcut settings, uh, you can change here. Um, but like I said, pretty much all the default settings are um, are pretty good. So this is our main screen here. Um, if I had another screen, I'm just holding the left click, um, the left part of the mouse here and dragging if I wanted to go to a different screen. Um, if I want to pull down the top, I left click and hold and pull down. Um, so of course, um, if you're using the, if you're using this program, you use it just like you would your phone or uh, Android tablet, and log in with your, um, with your Gmail account. So I have already done that. So I have everything, everything is set up with my Gmail account. Um, you see, it has this little, uh, little Wi-Fi option here and the uh, signal uh, for quote unquote cellular strength which um, you actually, it's, it's just there by default. You don't even need to worry about it. As long as you're online, uh, Knox will come online. And I've added a couple programs to it. Um, so the Play Store works just as it would if you're using, um, if you're using your phone or using your tablet. So I could literally use anything I want. I'm gonna go to YouTube um, and install YouTube. And the one thing that's nice about um, using Knox Player is just kind of testing out different um, different applications and so forth, say before you wanted to try it on your phone uh, or your tablet, or if you're really just an Apple user and you wanted to see what Android is like, uh, then I would highly recommend Knox Player. So the one thing I really do like about it um, is that it does work with the majority of apps and it is excellent with uh, mobile games. Um, uh, the gameplay uh, is extremely smooth. 
very smooth gameplay, uh, and you can use you can use this emulator uh, exactly uh, like you would use um, you know your Android phone or your uh, Android tablet. So, and of course, when like say you get a new phone or what not when once you log in with your Gmail account, um, all of your stuff will be synced to it. So everything you have. So I'm just going to go to sign it. So I just installed the um, the YouTube application here. So it's not like when you get a new phone and you have all of these um, uh, you have all these preloaded apps here. So this is just what comes. So there's only a couple a couple things that are installed with. Um, with the Knox player itself, so it's you're not getting bombarded um, with uh, different apps that are installed on this. And so here I've just logged into my YouTube, uh, just looking at a couple of my subscriptions here, and we'll just just click on this video just to see how it does play. If it does play, if it is a little shoddy, um, it's merely because of um, because I am running the screen recorder as well. So I have the quality at 360 right now. Auto looks like he's using a webcam. And so for most of the interface, you can use, um, you just use the mouse and you're good. So, but I'm going to use, I'm going to pause this guy here and I'm going to go to, I can either use like the back button that you would have on the Android and just keep going back. So you, same thing like you, um, how you work it on the um, on your phone if you are playing a video. Let's see here. Still pretty smooth, even though the even though the screen's a little bit smaller at the moment. And um, what's really cool is that obviously you have uh, twice the amount of space, if not more than that, because you're using your the computer is the uh is your storage right now and depending on what you're using sometimes the at least for the quality of youtube i have watched a couple things in 720 and it has worked out perfectly fine so let's see here you hit back and then just like you would in youtube on your uh, phone you just drag that over get that out of the way hit back uh, there's also there's also a built-in screen recording um, app in here as well, which I believe is this one right here on the right hand side. Uh, video will help you capture knock screen audio to create approximate. So you could do that, and then you could start um, using that. You can record whatever's on the screen instead of downloading an alternative um, screen recorder, which is pretty cool. Uh, where else did I want to go to here? So we checked out the system settings. Once you log in your phone uh, with your Gmail account, everything's going to be synced. So anything you download after that, Google Drive, uh, wh whatever it is Google related will be perfectly fine. You can also turn on the, uh, the GPS on here and it'll give you your GPS location. So anything that you're searching um, will come up close to where you are. And when you use Let's close this out. The camera here. Make sure I look nice and pretty. It'll just use whatever your default. Uh, oh, a little close. So, and it's not going to look that great. In my, I'm going to look a little messy here. But it does come up. Uh, right now, it doesn't look that great because I am using the uh, screen recorder, a separate program. Uh, but you would just use your webcam uh, for recording new videos and so forth. And obviously this button here to flip the uh, phone around would not work. <laughs> so there's only one uh, front facing camera and it's the webcam. So whatever default one you're using, you can take pictures and all that. Um, it stores to a default location uh, in the program files, uh, everything everything is accessible through file manager 
uh, and any application that you want is readily available just like it would be with any other um, Android phone uh, or tablet and like I said um, you don't need to add a micro SD card because for instance I have three terabytes of storage and that'll all come up perfectly fine so um, trying to see if there's anything else here that I haven't touched on uh, really what you're going to be doing is playing around with uh, the device I mean, with the uh, Knox player and testing it out most of it is um, like I said you can just use the um, the mouse and keyboard for um, and until you get um, say a game that requires you um, to set up the um, what's called the keyboard mapping so and max player keyboard mapping and it typically it isn't even it's typically not this laggy as well so and you can update everything just as you would um, normally through your phone this is I've checked out probably about four or five different emulators and this has been the only one that's actually started up uh, relatively fast and has had the pretty smooth gameplay and I wish that I really could show that gameplay right now but I just I can't while running the screen recorder so just if you want to test different ones out let me just go to home so you hit the home key to go home you can do this windows these uh, different windows down here to see what's running and so I'm just gonna hit home and then so like for instance I installed uh, Temple Run and these are all just single clicks what I'm doing to open up the programs so let's say for instance you started um, you installed Temple Run and now it's not gonna work automatically uh, as far as um, what you think the keys would be like using your mouse and so forth uh, you have to set it up and that's with this little keyboard icon on the right hand side and let me get rid of these oops you were slowing down a little bit here there we go uh, X and no okay keyboard so let's go to new okay so we want to go in the direction of going forward like that we'll say W and then we want to go right uh, we'll use the letter D we want to go left click the letter uh, we'll do A and then to go down ish <laughs> is the letter S and then that should be all we have to do here so that being done, let's see here. Get back. Okay, so I had to pause the video for a second. So we save our configuration, and then, for instance, for Temple Run, we would cl click play, and then use, because that's a little bit slower right now, but you would use those keys to um, to move a little bit to the right or left um, and you actually can even use the mouse keys in order to see I didn't set one for jump either but so we're playing temple run here and it is like I said it typically is a lot smoother it's just this uh, um, my lovely screen recorder so um, let's go home here and doo -doo -doo. okay cool this was actually an old uh, old app that I created years ago probably three over three and a half four years ago that's on there so um, but yeah everything everything works freaking fantastic you can put uh, long story short this is the newest one as of uh, March 8th 2018 Knox player 6.0.5.3. Um, it is open. It is completely free. 
Uh, it is definitely user friendly. The gameplay, I promise, is smooth and everything. Um, uh, you can update anything that you need to update on here. So uh, none of the apps would be out of date. Uh, everything, all the plugins and so forth, will work perfectly fine. Once you get so many uh, apps on here, um, you can start. Um, you know, it'll start being on the other screen. So, like you'll get you'll get the additional screens here, but um, so yeah, even even I'm still playing with it a little bit. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I've really only been playing around with Knox Player for <laughs> about a day or two now, and I like uh, all the basic features of it and the fact that um, I can. Uh, have have all my uh, everything synced uh, from my Google account and so forth, which is fantastic. And so let's see, let's hit escape. And escape uh, pretty much gets you out of anything here. And I'm just trying to see if there's anything else that I'm missing. Settings, okay. So this would be like the settings you would see on your phone. Uh, see, it says Wi-Fi, um, but we're just connect. I'm directly connected in so perfectly fine um, see what the storage is like uh, it might say less than what I have available see like it says um, available 30 gigs but that's not even close um, because I have uh, you know three different hard drives on here where it's up to three terabytes of space um, and then you could even just go to settings and add whatever accounts you want to use. Uh, you can print from here. Uh, so this one I have as the um, about my tablet. So this is the tablet, you know, that I quote unquote have right now. So an Android version 4.4.2. And um, yeah, everything works fantastic. Um, if you have a kind of a slower computer, I would definitely exit out of anything else that you're using and just use the Knox player. If your computer is up to date, then just use, you can use it. Um, you can multitask perfectly fine, but play around with it. It's very user friendly, uh, extremely, uh, extremely easy to use. Uh, I recommend it for anybody who's just interested in getting to know uh, Android a little bit better because it's um, becoming more and more universal. So. Uh, that's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.